What's happening, YouTube? Jugger here. Check it out, people. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Best Gun Class Setup. Today, we are looking at the TAC 19, but not any ordinary TAC 19. We are looking at the Sledgehammer Elite version of this shotgun. Now, on this weapon class itself, we have Lightweight, Gun Ho, Hardline, and Scavenger. Those are our three perks. We have the Exo Overclock ability, and we have one Syntax Grenade. For our score streaks, we will be using the UAV, the system hack, the bomb and run, and the paladin. Now, I will actually make a separate video on how to get your score streaks fast and how to get super score streaks faster. Those will be two separate videos. So let's get into it right now as we play on the map of terrorists with the TAC-19, the sledgehammer elite version of this weapon. Now, there's something you need to know about this weapon. Even though it does have a high damage rate of... Output it is a hit marker weapon and it is bad because the uh, ask me to tell you, you have a message. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm receiving text messages while I'm commentating and I think I'm gonna leave that in there because it's funny. Um oh Santa Claus, oh I sent you a message. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so this weapon itself is a hit marker city weapon. And the damage is so high, but when you shoot people, even though I did pick up a triple right here, and I will gain my score streaks. I'll, before I actually start speaking about my score streaks, you guys will see that I just picked up a Bloodthirsty, which is five kills in a row without dying. And this is a hit marker city weapon, meaning that when you are close to your enemy and you shoot them, you will pick up a hit marker and you will not kill them right away. Now, the hit detection on this weapon is so awful. Now, I do not recommend using this to anyone. I have so many numerous videos of me trying to kill people and they end up knifing me when I'm at point close blank range or the bullets just don't register at all because the hit detection is so goddamn awful. All right, I did not mean to take the Lord's name in vain for that one, so I do take it back. So now once I get my system hack, it will take me straight into my bomb and run. My bomb and run will take me into my paladin. Now I'm going to take a little bit of swim right here because it's frosty outside. I got to feel that frost bite because when I go into my paladin, I'm going to devour the enemy. Now, when I'm always playing terrorists, they always seem to try to find me. I don't know if people watch my videos and they see me in the lobby and they're like, oh my god, I know where Juggernaut is hiding. Let me go get him. So I decided to go um, chill out by the water side and the pool side. On top of the map, gonna pick up a merciless right here. Ten kills in a row without dying. Now the Tac 19, the sledgehammer version, is a pretty cool weapon to rush and gun with, but I do not recommend it to build your KD. I do not recommend it at all. I just, if you ever get this weapon, I just want to bring you guys this best class setup so you guys can actually use it. Because other than that, using any other class setup with this weapon will not work. And one thing you need to know is don't forget to use that gun hole perk because that makes all the difference in the world with lightweight. All right, so. Now the game is going to end. I'm going to die. I'm actually going to go on a Ruthless, which is 15 kills in a row without dying. Just want to give a shout out right here quickly to one of my subscribers, one of my friends on my friends list right now, Sergeant Anthrax. Shout out to him right now. He is actually currently serving in the United States Army, and he's on my friend list. going to go 20 and 5 this game. I actually rushed and gunned this game, which is a beautiful way to show you guys the best tech, the best gun class setup for the Tech 19, the Elite version called the sledgehammer now let's take a look at our weapons we are looking at a one shot kill double kill triple kill bloodthirsty merciless which is 10 kills in a row without dying ruthless which is 15 kills in a row without dying point blank king slayer uh, shotgun all bliss craig paladin bomb and run system hack and we do have our uav now actually let's go back to the ruthless meta so you guys can actually see what it's like which is 15 kills in a row without dying with the tac 19 best gun class setup for the elite version of this weapon called the sledgehammer so if you guys enjoy my video don't forget to subscribe smack that like button it's sunday you guys know what's coming this week on thursday which will be the ae4 a DLC first ever um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare weapon that you guys will see on my channel. Cannot wait to do a best gun class setup for the Energy Assault Rifle. So until next video, I'm Jug and I'm out. Peace.